Hey guys, welcome back to STQ. Today I have a special review of the One Blade Razor. Uh, the One Blade Razor is a newer razor that's on the market. I had a chance to catch up with the owner and designer, um, John, uh, over the week and got some really great points about the razor. It's an interesting design. Um, you can see here there's a very long slat in the middle um, that's actually designed to rest on a stand like this on your counter, which is pretty ingenious, very easy just to pick it up and, and go. Um, it also has a pivoting head um, with a stainless steel screw that is supposed to be more forgiving um, on your skin. And the blade actually slides in. So let's take a quick look at that. Go. So here is, uh, it's a proprietary blade, meaning uh, you have to use the specific kind of blades for this razor. You can't just pick up any off the street. Although it is made by Feather. Uh, Feather is one of my favorite blades. Let's go. And at first glance, those of you who know vintage shaving, this should look familiar to you. Um, it looks to me very much like the Valet Auto Strop uh, vintage blades. And how this works is it just slides in just like that to make it a one-sided razor or single edge blade, single edge blade, excuse me. Um, now the razor itself has a military grade PVD coating, um, so it's supposed to be more scratch resistant. Um, it's not super, super heavy. Um, the pivot should be interesting to shave with, so let's get started. All right, first things first, uh, we are going to start out by making a bowl lather, and today I'm going Vader. So, uh, with Captain Vader's help, we are going to lather up some Ghost Ship by uh, Kelly and Kitty over at Beaver Woodwright. Love you guys. Now, this soap is, is new for the season. It is a limited edition Ghost Ship. I love the label with the uh, smiley faces and all that gear on it but mm, it's got a great scent grapefruit maybe some amber let's see if it says oh sandalwood black amber and grapefruit with a tet with a deadly cool grip all right and I'm going to be using my envy shave dark side of the blade custom we'll get a little bit of warm water right here squeeze it out and let's get started with our lather I personally really like bowl lathering, hand lathering, and as you can see here, what I do is I just put it right over the bowl and just sort of let the extra water and soap just go right in there. Go. When I saw this Vader head too, I had to have it for shaving. Epic. All right, so that looks like we definitely have enough lather. Put this aside. Go. Add a little water. Awesome. Here, guys, I'll give you a sneak peek. Lovely lather. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right, guys. Go. Fold this guy up, and then we're going to start with our Edmund Jagger Hydrating Pre-Shave Lotion, Unscented, which has been becoming one of my go-tos because I love Parasso, however, I do not love the container. I like when I can just take a little dab and get started. It takes less time, it's less mess, your hands still get about the same amount on it. All right, so this is actually my second time shaving with this razor. Uh, the first go, um, I found that I used very, very long strokes like I usually do in my legs. And I found that it wasn't as smooth as I would have preferred. 
and I reached out to um, Sharpologist in Mantic 59 because he had tried the razor before and he gave me a few tips on using it. So the pivoting head, because it moves my first shave, it kind of felt like I had to use a little bit more pressure. But let's see with the new tips, the shorter strokes, how we do. All right, guys, so make sure our blade is all safe, and it is. Oh, that is much better. Much better, much smoother. Excellent. So one other thing I really noticed about this razor is the way that the head collects shaving cream. So if I were the type of person to shave with water running, you know, it might be uh, a little bit more, it, well, would probably be more clear go but even with that um, now that I'm doing the shorter strokes that Mark recommended um, I'm not getting any of the missing hairs that I did before so excellent advice and with the one blade razor definitely shorter strokes when using it on the legs ladies So this is actually a really cool razor. Um, I have a lot of great details that I'm going to be putting in my uh, blog on Ritual Shave, so definitely take a look at that. Everything about this razor is cool, from the military grade PVD coating, to the way that the blades are used, to everything. Um, and I love the fact that so many new razors are coming out. Go. And Mark is definitely right. Um, he had said to me, he's like, you know, the pivot isn't as much as a pivot as you think that it is. Because the first time I shaved with it, it seems like almost like a cartridge razor where I had to push down. And it just goes to show you what a little bit of information from somebody smarter than you will actually do. So again, thank you for that, Mark. And to John and his team over at One Blade for making such a keen razor. Yeah, see it's still kind of clogged up underneath. But again, it's not affecting the shave, so it's only affecting my OCD-ness, which is cool. <laughs> Here we go, let's get the knee. All right. So with the razor too, guys, it's super easy to pop it back out. You just pull it out like this. My hands are wet. <laughs> Here we go. So as you can see, we pulled out the razor blade and I'm not sure if you can see the underneath side where it's caked. <clears throat> and it's also caked underneath here. So I'm gonna wanna give this a really, really good rinse with clear water as soon as I'm finished. But for right now, we'll just kind of pat it down. Go. Awesome. All right, well, no missed spots. Everything looks good. My knee looks good. It's always the worst to have like one or two random hairs just sticking out on your knee. <laughs> All right, guys, and we are going to finish up today with, I wasn't sure which I was gonna go with. I was either gonna do the Castle Forbes Lavender, depending on if I felt a little over exfoliated or dry, but I don't. So I'm gonna go with the matching aftershave splash to the Ghost Ship. Mm. And the amber and um, grapefruit are just awesome in this. It's a light scent, um, I would say, even when it's blooming. Um, but you know what? I think it's gonna be one of my favorites. Okay guys, so I know that uh, a ton of people missed out on the Ghost Ship since it was a limited edition from uh, Beaver Woodwright. So what I would like to do is I'm going to create a spot on the STQ page for a Ghost Ship Pass Around. Anyone interested in participating in the Pass Around, here's how it's going to work. No cost. Uh, all you have to do is ship it to the next person. What we'll do is we'll, we'll work with shavers in the continental US first. Everybody can, sit, can use it for about a week and then send it on to the next respective person. 
um, I just ask that you are, you know, ship it on time and uh, I'll be doing a contest as well. The best shave of the day, blog or video with the pass around is going to win a gift set from Edwin Jagger and STQ. So check out the Facebook page and post your comments below. Thanks for joining me today. Special thanks to Envy Shave, Kelly, and Kitty at Beaver Woodwright, and of course, John at the One Blade Razor. <laughs> All right, guys, happy shaving.